In College Station today, three workers were injured after an accident at the construction site of a new basketball complex. Crews were working on the six-story Reed Arena when a metal beam fell from a crane and crashed into the unfinished building. One worker was seriously injured. The other two suffered only minor injuries. The $37 million arena is scheduled to open later this year. Developing labor news tonight, union workers are walking off the job at some General Motors plants tonight. Union members at plants in Wisconsin and Indianapolis walked off the assembly lines despite ongoing contract talks this evening. We checked just a few minutes ago with the local UAW in Arlington, and the president there tells us that workers at the Arlington GM plant do not plan to walk off the job tonight. Have you driven by a City of Dallas construction crew lately, and did it appear to you as if more people were watching than working? Tonight, a public defender investigation shows some city workers who appear to be wasting your tax dollars. Marty Griffin is here tonight with the report. Marty. Well, Jane, it all started with a phone call from some North Dallas residents. Now, they said they were tired of watching city crews that were supposed to be working on a project in their neighborhood that were doing little if no work at all. So we spent the day watching the crew. You decide. You take a look at the tapes. Are you getting what you paid for as taxpayers? It's 8 a.m. on a Tuesday morning. A Dallas city worker is fast asleep in his city truck. It's 8.30 a.m. He's still asleep. It's 9 a.m. Still asleep. His shift started at 6.30 a.m. He's supposed to get a 30-minute lunch and two 15-minute breaks. This worker and the six others on the crew are supposed to be working on a creek restoration project in North Dallas. We watched the crew for a day. What we captured on videotape, a seven-man city crew paid with taxpayer money doing very little work. By 9.30 a.m., the city worker who was sleeping in the truck is taking a break, eating sunflower seeds. By 10 a.m., he's still on his break, only now he's watching a squirrel in a tree. Meanwhile, a fellow worker who has been standing around since 8 a.m. gets moving at 10 a.m. Problem is, he moves to the back of a pickup truck with a fellow city worker who has also been standing around since 8 a.m. At 10 a.m., I approached the workers with the hidden camera. By this time, one was lying down sleeping in the back of the truck. The other was standing around. What day they usually pick up the tree? That's when I woke him up. All we do is rip out the tree, put him back. Oh, really? When do they think they're going to finish this? I left the two workers standing by the truck and walked along the bike path to where the actual construction is going on. A beautiful day. It's 10.30 a.m. Three city workers are walking around looking things over. By 10.45, two of them are taking a break. By 11, one worker is using a backhoe to move mud. Four city workers are looking on. I head back to the street to observe the rest of the crew. We are three hours into their shift. There are five city workers sitting by the van. There are three that are visible, one that's sitting inside and one that just went around the back and he's coming back around. One worker out of a crew of seven, there are two others, worked a backhoe for approximately 30 minutes and now he's finished. By noon, five of the seven-man crew are still standing around a van. We assume it's lunchtime. At two o'clock, after what we assume is the lunch break, Six hours after the crew arrived here, the work begins in earnest. Two employees shovel sand into a cement mixer. Another works a backhoe. By 2.30, they take a break in the back of the truck. By 3.30, the work is finished. At 4 o'clock, the backhoe operator sits on his machine. Others are getting ready to leave. By 4.30 in the afternoon, the crews are gone for the day. A day that started with this city worker asleep behind the wheel of a city vehicle. In the entire shift, no one on the city crew worked more than two hours. Few worked even less than that. We showed city officials we're, we're, we're segments of the videotape. We are concerned with what we did see on the tapes. It indicated uh, one employee uh, appeared to be uh, sleeping or nodding off uh, in, in the cab of the vehicle. And uh, another of the video clips indicated an employee in the back of a pickup truck that was laying down and I think sat up when approached. And some other clips showing staff members uh, not occupied with work at the time, standing around. Uh, we do have uh, 
greater periods of slack or lo low work time for the employees. The employees that are down in the channel are waiting for the material to come in before they can do their work. George Labrie says the city will investigate and take appropriate action if necessary. But he says what we have on tape is not the norm. Most city employees are very dedicated to their job and very committed to uh, providing a high quality of service to the citizens of Dallas. Now, the city says the project that those workers are on is currently under budget and on time. City officials also say the members of the crew we videotaped admit to doing some sleeping on the job, but they told their supervisors they did so on their breaks. They also admit to standing around, but say they did so only while waiting for equipment. We'll bring you the results of the city's investigation when it's complete. Interesting story. Thank you, Marty. Sure. Well, don't get too used to the nice weather. David says changes are in the air. Also, remember Hurricane Lily? Well, she's making a name for herself again. We'll show you where. And coming up after the news tonight, join Jade and Leno and his guests. Easy for you to say. Actor Richard Dean Anderson, actress Rhea Perlman, and singer Alan Jackson. <laughs>